Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, this is Joe Bruzek from Cars.com. We're here in Georgia with the 2011 Dodge Charger. Now, you may have seen our auto show video on it, but today we're going to drive the V6 model and also take a look at some of the features. Under the hood is Chrysler's new V6. It makes 292 horsepower in the Charger, and like in the other vehicles we've driven with this engine, it's really smooth, it's fairly quiet, but in the Charger it has kind of a throatier exhaust note that matches the sports sedan character of this car. Unfortunately, just like the other models we've driven with this engine, it's a little peaky. So what that means is it really doesn't start to accelerate until you wind it out in the rev range. So 4,000, 5,000 RPM, it really starts to come on strong. Otherwise, it's just felt feeling a little pokey uh, in this big sedan. One of the things Chrysler has done exceptionally well in the latest products that we've driven, including the Dodge Journey and Jeep Grand Cherokee, is making a very quiet ride. Uh, the Charger is a perfect example. I mean, this is yeah, very quiet, it's smooth, and really easy to live with. For $35,000 with the optional equipment on this Rally Plus model, you get a massive 8.4 inch navigation and multimedia system, adaptive cruise control, leather, heated steering wheel, heated front and rear seats, and heated and cooled cup holders. Automakers have tried cooling and heating your drinks before, but these cup holders actually work. As soon as you turn them on, they're hot or cold to the touch. If the V6 were the only engine in the Charger, I'd have to pass. It wouldn't be for me. Luckily, there is a V8 available, but it's going to cost more and you're going to take a hit on gas mileage. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.